Chris, speak on it. Listen, we're going to preface this message already because a lot of you are going to want to come on here and be combative. Yes, we know that there are single mothers in the world who bear the weight of the world on their shoulders because of a deadbeat father. We get that. What I'm about to say is to a marginalized group of people. If this don't apply, let it fly. You don't have to comment on here and tell me that it goes both ways. That's a given. Again, this message is to a very select group of people who need to hear it, all right? Some kids out here are fatherless because their mothers want to prove a point, and it's terrible. It's grave. Some women are complete demons to men and then want to call them a deadbeat. You got some men out here who genuinely love their children, and they want to be around their children. They want to be there in their lives supporting them whichever way that they can but women some women want their way if i can't have my way i will make your life a living hell and that's on everything this is the mentality of some women and we gonna expose it this is a queen to queen talk picture yourself in a women's convention okay we talking about this because this is going to strengthen us from within you cannot go out here and try to control a man if it did not work out between you guys, if he's choosing not to marry you, okay? Because technically, before you laid down, you probably should have secured the ring. But since things happen, and if it didn't go as planned, it's okay. Now a child is in the picture. So that means what? We can't always have our way and our wants to come to fruition when you got a child. Listen. A child needs a mother to stand in the gap and be mature, to put their needs before hers. Some women will allow a child to face hell in their life, be apart from their father, because they want their way. Oh, if you ain't gonna marry me, honey, if I ain't gonna get no ring, I can rest assured you won't see your child another day in his life or her life. It's terrible. And it creates grave effects for the child later on, but you're not thinking about that child. It's all about you. It's your world, big girl, ain't it? That's terrible. You're selfish. This is a self-check moment. You can't do that. Some women on top of that, oh, you know that he got plans with somebody new that he with? You want to control a man and treat him like a child by using his child against him. Um. Well, I know I said 6 o'clock. I'm at the mom still getting my hair done. It'll be 7.30. Oh, well, I ain't going to be around there. I'm dropping him to my mama. If you want to go get him, you could go get him from his mom, from my mama's house. It is what it is. You can't be nasty like that. And then get on social media, do whatever, and talk ill about somebody. And better yet, you got an even more grave thing that a lot of women want to do. Oh, you don't want to give me no ring? You don't want to do? What well, a baby ain't yours anyway. Ah, uh -huh. well, she ain't yours. He ain't yours. It is what it is. So what? Okay. What? That's petty. That's petty. I'm going to tell you straight up and down because some people going to encourage you in that foolishness, okay? If he wanted to be with you, he just should have. Well, if he feel like that, all of y'all bitter and negative together. That's terrible. You done brought innocent people in your situation to carry out this manipulation. It's wrong. Some men want to be in their children's life, but you are the hindrance. You want your way. You've been that way since a child. It's wrong. It's time to level up. Things in your, you're going to continue to face that same level of depression, that repeated cycle of up, high highs, and then low lows until you do right by some people. Some women out here, we talk about men being prideful. Some women owe some men some apology straight up. You owe them an apology. You need to understand that when you do things like that, the humiliation, particularly when you say, oh, the baby ain't yours. And he thinking that straight up and down that this is his child. But you bruise a man and you say, you know, I was just mad. No, 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 no. When you put that out in a public platform, understand the humiliation that's attached to it. A man may never come forth and tell you face to face what he is feeling, but some men are dying inside. Some men have a silent cry that only him and his brother know what he going through. Y'all wonder why the friends stop dealing with you. That man be dead inside because of something you're doing, trying to control him. And some of you going to hear this message and say, well, whatever. It is what it is that's nasty. That's rude and you need to pray against that spirit of pride in your life. Some kids out here are fatherless because you as a mother want to prove a point. Love you much.